you look about everyday life and everyone's doing their thing. You're like, how many of us are actually being sincere and how many people are insincere? What can you do? What can you observe privately between you and Allah to know? So for example, some of the signs of sincerity will take place before you begin a task. You're about to join this organization. You're about to give a charity. You're about to volunteer. You had a good intention before you started. You went to a, a class to learn about Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. He rewarded you for it before you even started the, the task itself. But then I want you to think about this. During the task, during the act of worship, even if you received praise from other people, you stayed sincere. Here's an example. You go to the masjid, you're praying. And as you're praying, you notice from your peripheral vision, somebody walks into the musalla, and maybe they're like looking at you. Now you're in sujood. But that person is like staring at you. You might think to yourself, you know what? I don't want to show off. So I'm going to make it very short. I don't want to look like I'm doing long sujood just because they're watching. So your thought is, I don't want to be insincere. So you cut off the act of worship. You rush it. But actually, actually, the commentary from many of the earliest of generations, they say what? Renew your intention. And elongate your sujood. Take your time with it. You don't care about that person who's watching. At the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who will reward you. So focus on Allah. Allah is the only one who will reward you for your act, acts of worship. So focus on Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who will reward you and accept from you an act of worship. So focus only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.